Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, a lot of you have said, can you, can you weigh rackets, your rackets or Coach Koo's rackets in different spots and tell me what you feel? So today I weighed Coach Goo's rackets in different spots and we're going to tell you how they feel. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we are now on the court. I'm going to call Coach Goo in. These are Coach Goo's brand new sticks. He is now a TF40 player, 315, but he likes weight. I do. I like weight because most stock rackets are light, very light. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> a lot of you guys have said, can you weigh different? you know, your rackets or Coach Goo's rackets in different places and tell us, describe how they feel differently. So I'm going to actually let Coach Goo hold this one. Yep. So this one I weighed at 10 and 2 with 7 grommets worth. So I would say approximately 5 inches on both sides. Okay? 10 and 2. A la tennis sand grid. Okay? This one... Most people do. They go three and nine, okay? About four inches there. And then another four inches at 12 o'clock. Okay? Coach Goo actually does kind of a combo between the two. He likes it a lot on the sides, a la Novak. But these are the two most popular ways that I've seen people do it. So Coach Goo and I are going to test it out and let you know the differences. Okay? Stay tuned. Okay, so interesting feel. Yes. We we actually thought of it would feel a little different, but um, we're a little surprised, actually. Yes. I'm going to let Coach Goo start with the uh, 10, and, ten two. and 2. All right. So out of the two sticks we tried, uh, I prefer the 10 and 2, actually. I'm very shocked. Um, 10 and 2 is not very commonly used, but for this racket, especially, and going from 10 to 2, it actually plows through the head a little more. Um, the TF40 315 is known to be a little more headlight on the headlight side. So therefore, when you swing, the head actually just goes through, through the air pretty fast. So I like the little more plow. I like to feel the head kind of drive through the ball. So therefore, this actually did a great job. The 10 and 2 actually did a great job of driving through the ball. It definitely had that impact of that top going around that ball all the way through. So. And also, it stabilizes the feel of the racket, which is great. So, really shocked with this one. Um, but yeah, first impressions, pretty happy with it. So, what was the 3, 9, and 12 feeling and or missing? Um, the traditional ones, uh, the from 3, 9, and 12, it was still great. Um, I think what happened was, since it was so head light, um, it felt like the throat was going through still when I was still swinging. So when I was swinging through, it felt a little bit discombobulated in a way. Uh, I don't know how to describe that with kind of all these weights around, but what it felt like is basically the throat was still going until when it hit impact, it kind of started to stabilize and roll it over at the end. But it only felt like the grip, like the throat and the rack and the top of the top of basically the throat just went all went first instead of the racket going first yeah i can agree with that actually <clears throat> when i was uh, hitting with this i thought the the weight just being generally in the three quadrants at the head 
I thought it would roll through a little bit more with force, but it actually became kind of lower quadrant, kind of almost throat heavy before the top kind of came around. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> so um, it actually made me hit the ball a little more flatter than I kind of wanted to. Mm -hmm. Whereas with 10 and two, um, you got the spin and the pop. Exactly. You knew that the top was going to guide you through as long as you were in cue and ready to roll. Like it actually did what you wanted it to. I feel like this weight here counterbalanced the weight in the handle so that it kind of, this is kind of the perfect balance point mm -hmm. of a counterweighted racket or a counterbalanced racket. Yeah. So I, I agree with Coach Goo, 10 and 2 is the way to go with this particular racket. Yeah. Every racket will be different. You have to realize, um, like with my old Wilson Pro Stocks, I weighted from the grip and from the size from 3 to 9, the traditional ways. But each racket will be different. You will not know. Like you'll always have to experiment. So don't be like kind of turned away from it. Just, you know, keep experimenting with the lead tape and see what actually feels good with your with your racket and what kind of swing you like yeah don't be shy with the lead weight just mess around with it and until you with it all yeah sort. exactly just <clears throat> experiment until you feel what you want to feel yeah so and we we like this yeah we like this a lot actually. so we're going to want to feel this some more yeah okay coach goo thank you for joining me today of course of course where can we find you goo? you can find me at agu.tennis so i'll see you posting content there as well Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Man, it's windy today. Am I at the right club? Where is this wind coming from? I should have restrung my racket. My eyes are so itchy. My socks don't quite. How am feel I gonna right? deal with this wind? Man, it's windy today. I gotta make sure I I'm tight. Better to string in those Man, did I have shoes. Why is okay. it so freaking windy today? Feels tight. Feels tight. Where is nah, this that water today? bottle? Did I, did I remember my phone? Where is this wind coming from? Tight. Where is my phone? Was I supposed to get my kid from school? Yeah, I think I lost my wallet. Do I don't I need a water battery bottle. Life on my did I bring the right bar? I think I need today. a massage. Man, did I have enough coffee Maybe today? Where is this? How am I going to deal with this wind? Screen today? Right. Let's open the APEAK app and find my Zen. As you prepare for your match, let's talk briefly about consistency. Time to play. 